Hey guys, and welcome back to Hearthstone, the Paladin Arena run. We have got a very strange deck, and we did go 2-0, and then lost a game based on one single misplay that was pretty bad. I took into account a Flame Strike against a Mage, uh, the turn before it happened, and then the turn that I needed to prepare for it. Um, I completely blindsided it and forgot about it and just played like lots of really weak cards that all were destroyed which lost me the game and I just conceded. So let's hop into another game. Um, this deck's interesting. It's, it's not bad by any means. Oh look, it's another mage. Um, it's not a bad deck by any means but it doesn't have that much card draw. Like that's pretty much the only card draw I've got. Anyway, I'm going to have to get rid of these two and keep these two. That'll do. The Guardian of Kings is a bit ridiculous, but alright. I mean, there are worse decks, that's for sure. Alright, um... I think what I'm gonna do is... Yeah, okay, right, we're gonna coin out the Crocolist now, which very likely will survive. And then next turn, we're gonna throw down the Abusive Sergeant to pump it up to a 4 free just for that turn. And also, we're gonna put down a Noble Sacrifice in the same turn. I assume. Yep, that looks like what we're doing. He's letting me do a nice little bit of uh, damage to his face. I appreciate that, sir. You are very kind. It's Noble Sacrifice. Do the 4 damage. Back to a 2 2. So. He's probably going to fire blast the 2 1 if he doesn't have a proper play here. Um, could be a 3 3 taunt and stuff like that. He's hovering over the fire blast. It's the fire blast. He's got nothing this turn. Works for me. Unfortunately, I, I, I am not going to run the Wolf Rider out because what happens is I put it out. It does free damage and then immediately dies to his fire blast. And he also has 2 mana to do something else. So, what I prefer to do is just put a 1 1 down. And just chill. I've much. Uh, being that I don't really have a play for turn 4 right now, I'd rather keep this for a turn 4. That's pretty much why. Right. Ooh. Yeah, we're gonna do that instead. So we're just gonna put out the 2 free and the 1 1. We're going to trade with the 2-2, that's fine. And then leave that. Now, I'm, I'm really wanting to save this so that it gets its proper use. That it makes... I make absolute the most out of it. Rather than just put it out and just do free damage and it dies. Fire Blast. Six health. We're just going to put this out, I think, maybe. And ignore it. So I could throw this out and do free damage to it and then essentially clear the board and then have a 1-1 one, one out which he just kills for 5 last next turn and plays something. So to tr in the interest of trying to keep control, I'm just going to put this uh, Drake out, draw the Peacekeeper and ignore that for now. There's just not much I can do right now. If it attacks anything, it's going to get hit by a 2-1 from the Noble Sacrifice. So that's why I did that. Polymorph. Yep. There are worse things he could pull him off. I'm hovering over them right now. So that's fine. Noble Sacrifice, it takes 2 damage. It does kill the 2 1 now. Goes down to 4 health. But that works out perfectly. Okay, what can we do here? So, this turn we could do 2 free frees. So our two free frees would be an Aldor Peacekeeper and a Wolf Rider. Or we could do the Wolf Rider, one of these, and just recruit. And that's probably what we're going to do, because rather save this for something much worse. So what are we doing? We could Wolf Rider and then use one... Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Okay, all right. So we're going to Wolf Rider. The Wolf Rider is going to pop into that. We're going to use a recruit to finish it off. Then we're going to play the Argent Squire and another 1-1 one, one, and finish that off. He will finish the 2-1 off with a Fire Blast this turn most likely. Or he could very well Flame Strike, but then that survives, so... It's probably going to be a ping and some sort of minion. But now we're moving into the late game, so I'm, I'm fine with that. 
Interesting. And the ping for the 2 1. Okay. Does have 5 health. Can't really do much about that. So we could play the Chill when you're in the Peacekeeper. That goes to a 1 5. And then we just pretty much ignore it. Then we could put this on one of the big guys that survives, probably the Chilwin Yay. Or we can just put out a big guy. I think we're just going to do that. So we change this attack to one, put out the Chilwin Yay. Just ignore it. So if he flame strikes here, that survives. Then he pings it with that. Um, and the Yeti will survive. I'm just trying to gain control of the board, really, and get a nice advantage. Problem is, right now, is I have three cards to my name, and she has a total of seven. So, that is definitely an advantage for her. She's getting rid of the shield, and she's going to remove it with the dark scale. Oh, Code of Cold. Yeah, pings off two there, freezes that. Alright, that's, that's, definitely, that's definitely fine. So, what I really need to do this turn is um, get out big guy and also get some cards. So we're just going to throw out the wall golem and we're also going to put this on you and you can just attack. We can draw a card from that. That's great. So we've got at least one use from it. Best case scenario I want to use it at least twice and then I'm okay. Using it once is just like meh. The reason I put it on the free free instead of anything else was the fact that these are already targets that he really is concerned with. He really needs to target the sea. He's, already, he's, not, even, he's not even bothered by this peacekeeper right now. Um, so he's using the fireball. He's going to ping that off. That's going to die. Or I could ping it and have that alive. I mean, I prefer for him to kill the dark scale healer, but uh, he's probably going to ping it. He's got a lot of cards, though. Still got six in his hand. I have three. I'm just I just want this peacekeeper to stay alive so that I can get another card. Two fireballs, one turn. So he has to hit that. And that's his whole turn. And the peacekeeper survives, and that's why I put it on that. Alright, sweet. Um that's also great. Wish this cost one less mana though. Um Alright, just put out another big guy. This'll do. We draw a card. Probably should have attacked first, just in case I could get something. It's fine though. Um, but, you know, ultimately I should have attacked first before making any plays to see what I draw. It might have been more useful than the play that I made there. So that was a slight mistake, but thankfully it didn't actually cost me anything because I probably wouldn't have played that. I put out a few cards there to hopefully have at least two survive this turn. Um, then I can put the taunt and buff them. That is fine. Another draw cards. He's sort of just wasting his time and I'm getting to the point where I'm probably just going to kill him. Yeah, that's that's okay. Um, I don't have any spells, so that's fine. Put that down. Um, we're going to go ahead and pump you up a little bit more. Put a 1-1 one, one out. And we're just going to ignore the Frost Elemental. Because we have two taunts. And that Frost Elemental has to attack at least one of them. And that's game, I think. I think we've won. So we've controlled the board completely. We've played our cards. We've we worked out what we want to do with each turn. Good Blizzard. Um, he has a lot of cards in his hand, but he's not really doing anything with them. So He does buy himself a turn there, at very least, because all my things are frozen. But he's not really doing anything. Is this a spell? Polymorph. So he's actually frozen that twice and then polymorphed it. He's used a lot just to stop that from attacking. But now this polymorph's going to just hit that, so ultimately you've just given me something nice to do. Alright, so I could put that to a 2-2. Two -two. There's not really any point. I think we're just going to put more damage out there. So, hit that. Put the free out. Buff everything up. Pass the turn. He can kill these, but he's got to get for a taunt. It's very likely that this game is over. Um, 
I mean, he, ca he can only have so many stall cards to stop me from killing him the, the following turn. Um, and I doubt he's got what he needs. Maybe he puts down a taunt. Um, I doubt he'll have a second blizzard. I doubt he'll have a frost nova. He's used two fireballs and two polymorphs. I think he's probably run out of gas by now. Yeah, he's free arcane intellects. This is why you've lost this game. Drawing that many cards, although seems useful. A third polymorph. This guy has so much CC and not really anything going on. Notice how he's just desperately trying... Uh, <laughs> Evans is just messaging me there. Um, he's desperately trying to control my minions, but I'm still on one point away from full health. He does have a Frost Nova. This is ridiculous. So he does trade and lose that, so whatever. It's just like... Alright, I just keep playing things... Eventually, you're not going to be able to stall the turn. Um, Flame Strike would kill everything I've got, so that would be absolutely dreadful. Still got a big guy after that, though. So, in hindsight, based on a Flame Strike, I definitely should have held and just passed the turn and saved my cards. That was a mistake, but it doesn't look like he's got one. He would have played it straight away, so I'm okay. But that was definitely a big mistake from me. I've won this game now, but I risked potentially giving him a way back into the game, of which I should not have done. Alright guys, that's our first game. We'll hop into the next game in just a moment. We are now 3-1. Okay, so we're in the next game, and we are against a rogue. I went and got some tea, so that's great. Well, look at this. Um... This is, a, this is a good and bad thing. Um, I've got a lot of starter cards, you know, one mana turn, two mana turn, three mana turn, but they all require something in play first, um, especially the Eldar Peacekeeper and his him to do something that was worthwhile, so I'm going to have to throw that back. I'll keep one protector. I'm not going to need the cards at the start of the game, um, so I'm going to have to throw back that rather nice starting hand, which hurts a little bit. But we do get a, um, a free, so a charge removal. Great to have early game, obviously. Uh, we do get the very standard and strong Brewmaster. We're just going to pass the turn. Two Wolf Riders, so we do have very good removal. The thing about Rogues is they're very good with their control. Yep, there's absolutely no reason for me to do anything except... Yep, just put down the 1-1. One, one. He's got a 2-1, so uh, if he attacks with that, um, I can just kill it with my 1-1. One, one. Chances are he might dagger here and kill my 1-1. One, one. I can kill either of those with the 1-1, one, one, that's fine. And that is exactly what I shall do. But I shall do it in style. Could uh, kings it, but that seems a bit too much. I wonder. All right, we're just gonna protect her it and uh, kill one of the one ones. Uh, I was taking a while to make that move there because I have a lot of choices here, absolutely loads. I'm, I'm quite liking this um, with the coin and everything. And really, I was just trying to work out the best play. So, probably he's going to clear my board here. Yep. And that's absolutely fine. Because now I just play a big guy. And what have you got? You got nothing. The problem with going second is you're always, usually, on the defensive. Um, and I want to get a nice lead if I can. That's fine. That's perfect, actually. Because now my big guy comes back and I can bring something back if I need to. I get a nice two here. Uh, your weapon's low, so unfortunately I can't play the Wolf Rider. Um, so I'll tell you what, we're just going to play this. We're going to coin it up. Going to give it Defender. And if he hits that, it enrages, and I would very much appreciate that. Now, if I could just get um, something 
Blessing of Kings, I'd be very happy. So he's now enraged it with that. That seems very foolish, but he does have Eviscerate, so that's okay. And now he has no mana left, and he can't finish that off. But he is opting to take one damage. Alright. Okay. It's fine. I don't really understand it, but thank you. Because uh, now I'm just going to bring it back. Thanks very much for giving me the absolute most, most out of this card so that I may play it once more next turn. I appreciate that, sir. Using all your uh, time to essentially give me bonus damage and then allow me to give uh, the buff back again. This game is going very nicely for me. Alright. So I could Blessing of Kings here. No, actually, what I'm, I know exactly what I'm going to do. Um, so Wolf Rider, 3 4. Oh, that is perfect. That is perfect. Right, so we charge. We uh, remove that. With the nice one, we just remove the thing that comes back after the, the uh, death rattle. Now, that'll die if it tries with that, unless I buff it. Um, I'm not going to buff it ridiculously with like a Blessing of Kings. So I don't want to put everything on one card. Uh, but we are going to buff it up so it hits it and it survives. In hindsight, I could probably have hit him there because it's a taunt and then he would have had to hit it. But I expect assassinates at this stage in the game, so... I mean, ultimately, he's just he's playing defensively right now. He's having to spend his entire turn, every turn, trying to catch up. And it ain't going to work for him. Alright, so we're just going to Wolf Rider here. Very simple turn. Hit that for one. Sure, he gets a card, but I only hit him once, so he only gets one card. We want to kill that uh, in an efficient way, if we can. Um, and that might be Blessing of Kings. Yeah, it looks to be Blessing of Kings. So the Blessing of Kings removes that. And then we get 6 damage through to his face. We now have two very big guys on the board. He has nothing. Looking pretty good for us right now. It's an interesting name. A Ladwen. That's who we're playing against. A Ladwen. That's fine with me. You take another 6 damage. You're now very close to death. And you play essentially a useless card. Because there's nothing else on the board. I can do 8 damage here with this. Um, I'm probably just going to kill that. And play a big guy. Yeah, we're just going to do that. So, play another big guy. Throw that down. Kill your guy. So now you have to spend another turn trying to deal with my things. Again, on the defensive. Whenever you don't have the coin, that means you've gone first. Which means you have a mana the whole game more than your opponent. So you should never be on the defensive. So it's going to take another 2 damage here to the face to uh, kill that. So he'll go down to 2 health. And he's dead. I've won. He was so defensive this entire game. Going good. So we're now 4-1 I believe. It should be 5-0, but I made that one mistake against that mage, and it was, you know, it was a bad play. There's no other way to say it. I mean, I saw it, I talked about it, I said I'm really bad when I made that move, it was dumb. But yeah, anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. Do give it a like if you enjoy these videos, it always helps to support me. And comment if you want to see more, and remember feedback and stuff if you think I could have made a different play anywhere. Apart from the one where I obviously made the terrible mistake of the mage one. Um, anyway guys, thanks very much for watching, I'll see you next time.